but this isn't your normal delivery service. Food futurologist Dr Morgan Gay is on hand to supervise. This really is something from the future because this is the prototype. Currently, there is nothing like this in domestic use in the world. It's a liquid nitrogen cooker for the home that has everything. Until now, liquid nitrogen cooking has been the preserve of top chefs. Odorless, colourless and tasteless, the gas has a boiling point of minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. That's colder than the coldest ever day in Antarctica. At that temperature, it will flash freeze anything it touches. What's great about liquid nitrogen is it locks in all the nutrients instantly. It's good to remember that, it's a vapour, so it's a real quick cooling technique. It's not something that you're going to be ingesting. The rapid freezing preserves the food's moisture and texture, so they retain their taste. But liquid nitrogen does need to be used with care. They are super cold, so they will burn your tongue a little bit. The flavour's completely preserved, so you taste it that. Is. It's like an absolute hit, almost. Mm. OK, so here's some hazelnut cream. Next, it's time to whip up a dairy delight. Just put a pot of cream and a bit of flavouring, in this case hazelnut, into the liquid yes. nitrogen and, hard. like magic, you've got instant ice cream. <laughs> Still cold. Give it a go. Should be crispy on the outside and soft in the middle. Mm. Is it delicious? Mm. Really lovely. So just a bit of fun, we can use these meringue to Give a bit of dragon's breath. Pop one of those in your mouth. Leave me big. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> and the taste is really different because it did actually burst in your mouth. You felt as though it popped inside. So it's a bit like popping candy. What do you think about this piece of equipment? I think if it's something that you could hire for like special dinner parties or something like that. Yeah. Then that, I think that would be good, so you could come in with the dessert, you know, all steaming and smoking. There is a continual evolution in the kitchen. I think we're going to take food and food preparation more seriously, and I think we'll start to see more of a return to ritual with the preparation of food and also the eating of food, that we'll eat together again. Liquid nitrogen is the fun side of cooking in the future.